Good morning, Community Alliance Church. I have a couple quick announcements for you this morning before we get on to the main part of our midweek message for this week. The announcements. First off, this coming Sunday, we are going to be doing communion, and we're going to be doing that together just like we normally will be doing. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a warning. Make sure that you have some grape juice or some wine or some bread or something like that that you can partake in communion with us so we can all do that together. So just make sure that that's set aside before this coming Sunday morning. Also, just wanted to remind everybody that we are doing all church prayer again. We're going to do that on Thursday at 6.30 p.m., just like we would normally do. Uh, the details for that will be located in the email that is being sent around, so that will have the call-in information on that. We're going to do that via conference call. And also, if there's anybody out there who is still interested in being part of either the men's or the women's groups, um, just send me an email, and I will make sure to get you the contact information so that you can participate in our weekly events either on Tuesdays or Thursdays. But without further ado, I wanted to uh, show you a testimony, a sharing of what's been going on in our mobile home park ministry. Both Eric and Katie have something to share with all of you about what's going on over at Saratoga West. Hello, Community Alliance Church. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all doing great. Uh, today, we wanna take a little bit of your time and share uh, what we are doing here at the kids club and what's going on around the mobile home park uh, the other day we decided to reach out to our kids and their families and uh, we asked all of you last week to donate uh, fruits craft supplies books and stuff like that and we got a lot of stuff from you and we are very grateful for that for each one of you who participated uh, and we were able to fill seven bags of with all kinds of stuff and also we wrote a letter to our kids with some words of uh, encouragement and we told them that we love them we care for them we miss them yeah and we pray for them uh, it when we went to the families uh, they were very surprised and grateful for what we brought and some of the parents said that their kids finally will stop to play video games and will do some craft. So it was really good. Um, I also um, want to say it, it wasn't easy for us uh, uh, to do it, but we felt that in this time we need to show that uh, we're missing them, we love them, we want to support them, and uh, more important that we're praying for them. And God knows what's going on. and. Uh, uh, also, we uh, really um, we got some letters back from kids, and <laughs> Jack Jake wrote that uh, love you too. Thank you for the food and craft. We 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 appreciate it. Um, uh, Joe wrote a very big letter, but I like when he said that uh, uh, I wish you good health and may God love be with you. And there is something from little Jane that when she said that it's so kind and nice nice of you to do that for us uh, so um, we want to say thank you for all your donations your support and your prayers because it's really helped us uh, to show love to these kids and uh, I hope uh, um, we will reach them again maybe before Easter uh, so pray for this um, and again thank you so much and we love all of you and we're missing you and hopefully soon yeah. we all will we be together we hope to see you soon again yeah bye bye <laughs>